Proverbs 28 verse 13. A powerful verse that emphasizes the importance of confession and the transformative power it holds for our spiritual journey. He who conceals his sins doesn't prosper, but whoever confesses and renounces them finds mercy. We'll explore the profound implications of this scripture and how it can guide us towards a life of integrity and grace. The Danger of Concealing Sin Proverbs 28 verse 13 begins with a stark warning, he who conceals his sins doesn't prosper. This statement highlights a fundamental truth about human nature and our relationship with God. Concealing sin is an act of pride and self-deception. When we hide our wrongdoings, we are essentially rejecting God's wisdom and choosing to walk in darkness. In the Bible, several examples illustrate the consequences of concealing sin. Consider the story of David and Bathsheba in 2 Samuel 11-12. David's attempt to hide his sin led to a series of tragic events, including deceit, murder, and the death of his child. It wasn't until David confessed his sin to God through the prophet Nathan that he began to find restoration and mercy. Concealing sin not only affects our spiritual well-being but also our emotional and physical health. Psalm 32 verses 3 to 4 reflects this truth. When I kept silence, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night, your hand was heavy on me, my strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Holding on to unconfessed sin creates a burden that can weigh heavily on every aspect of our lives. The Freedom of Confession The second part of Proverbs 28 verse 13 offers a solution. But whoever confesses and renounces them finds mercy. Confession is more than merely admitting our wrongdoings, it involves a heartfelt acknowledgement of our sins before God and a genuine desire to turn away from them. The act of confession is liberating. It frees us from the chains of guilt and shame that sin imposes. 1 John 1 verse 9 assures us of God's faithfulness and justice. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us the sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This promise highlights the transformative power of confession, leading to forgiveness and purification. In James 5 verse 16, we are encouraged to confess our sins to one another and pray for each other so that we may be healed. This communal aspect of confession fosters accountability and support within the body of Christ. It reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles and that through mutual encouragement, we can overcome sin and grow in our faith. The process of confession. Recognition. We must first recognize our sins and acknowledge them. This requires a humble and honest examination of our hearts and actions. Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24 is a beautiful prayer for this purpose. Search me, God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the everlasting way. Repentance. Recognition leads to repentance, a sincere turning away from sin and a commitment to change. Repentance is not merely feeling sorry for our sins but involves a decisive break from our past behavior. We then bring our sins before God in prayer, seeking His forgiveness. This step is crucial as it restores our relationship with Him and allows His grace to flow into our lives. Restitution and Reconciliation If our sins have harmed others, we should seek to make amends and restore relationships where possible. This demonstrates the sincerity of our repentance and the transformative impact of God's grace in our lives. The Role of Mercy in Confession Mercy is a central theme in the process of confession. When we confess our sins and renounce them, we find mercy. 
This mercy is not something we earn but is a gift from God, made possible through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Titus 3 verse 5 reminds us that, not by works of righteousness, which we did ourselves, but according to his mercy, he saved us, through the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit. Mercy brings about a profound transformation. It lifts the weight of guilt and shame, offering us a new beginning. Psalm 103 verse 12 beautifully illustrates God's mercy, as far as the east is from the west, so far, has he removed our transgressions from us. This divine mercy assures us that our sins are not only forgiven but also forgotten, allowing us to move forward with a clean slate. Living in the Light of Confession Living in the light of confession means embracing a lifestyle of honesty and transparency before God and others. It involves daily self-examination, ongoing repentance, and a commitment to walk in righteousness. Ephesians 5 verses 8 to 9 encourages us. For you were once darkness, but are now light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Confession should not be seen as a one-time event but as a continuous practice that keeps our hearts aligned with God's will. By regularly confessing our sins, we maintain a close relationship with God and experience His ongoing grace and mercy. Proverbs 28 verse 13 offers a powerful reminder of the importance of confession in our spiritual journey. Concealing sin leads to spiritual stagnation and emotional turmoil, while confession brings freedom, forgiveness, and divine mercy. Amen. Thank you for joining us. If you found this study helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more Bible studies and reflections.